We have filed against a case against the deputy president regarding Gashagwa, and we've done so because of his entrances, the ones that he made in Mombasa on the 26th June 2024 regarding the NIS. We have taken a date that is on the 8th of October 2024. We were told to serve him. And we are also trying to stop the impeachment process of the National Assembly. Reason being, we feel that the grounds that we have are the same grounds that are being used for impeachment. Therefore, we wish that we be heard first. And that's why we have taken our case to court. More specifically, we want him to apologize. If he is able to come forward and apologize to us, and especially the NIS officers or any persons affiliated to the NIS, then at least we, we are able to feel that we have been heard. Perhaps this is what is wanted because we want him to make good the laws he has done by apologizing to my client and anybody else who was affected by his utterances in Mombasa. The case is petition E013 of 2024 before Honorable Justice Richard Mongo at Kirgoya Law Court. That is where the petition is going to be heard and it's going to be heard on the 8th of October 2024. So we are hoping he's going to appear or he's going to send a representative. Of course, he, we've also sued alongside the Attorney General, but we have also served the Attorney General. The client is one Thomas Kimoto Mainge, who is affiliated to the NIS. And uh, we have sued the Honorable Richard Rigadi, sorry, Gachagua, and uh, the Attorney General of Kenya. This case was certified urgent and we were so sold to serve by close of business today. And we are also, they are supposed to respond by the 7th of October, 2024. And all the parties are supposed to appear before the Honorable Judge Richard Mwongo at Kirugoya High Court on the 8th of October, 2024. Uh, my client is a retired NIS member, officer, and he was concerned by the statements or utterances made by the deputy president regarding the lack of giving proper information or intelligence to the President of Kenya, Honorable William Samuel Ruto. And that is why there was Mandamano and the Gen Z revolution. So my client was affected by those sentiments because him being a retired NIS member felt that he was associated with a team that was not competent enough to advise the president accordingly. The prayers in the main petition is that there be a declaration that the constitutional rights of the applicant, that is Thomas Kimoto, as provided for under Article 10, Article 27, Article 28, Article 29, and 47 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 have been violated by the respondents. And that the first respondent, that is Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, the Deputy President of Kenya, to issue an apology to the NIS members and staff or any person affiliated to the NIS for the utterances and or speech made on the 26th 
June 2024 at Mombasa. Of course, the cost of the petition and any other relief the court may deem fit. We have uh, uh, prayers uh, under the notice of motion where we are seeking a temporary injunction against any arm of the government and more specifically the parliament and or national assembly and or senate from conducting or carrying out any impeachment proceedings against the first respondent, the deputy president of Kenya, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, pending the hearing and determination of this application. That prayer is going to be heard on the 8th of October 2024. Na tumai gostanga monini wa presidenti uria ne honrabo kana mwesimiwa rigadi gasagwa na tudiete igotine tokienda rigadi gasagwa etekere kana igoti riuge ne avioletire kana ne athukirie katiba vipengere kana section si mwesi ya katiba ya Kenya na akewata kuga maondo kuri amomba da mwezi 26 Juni kana waga tanda to 2024 mwakoyo akiuga ate maobida ma NIS matiana vota ko advice munene wa buruli na ni rais na nikyo kwageire maandamano na dhirikali ikihota kugia los kogwa to igotine kumwira wakoro ne kobota mbere ya to dieta muno oke e umirie na avoy apology auge ate maundu asio augire ni amatianiria na asoke arunga mirire ngarama ya sireno kogwa ange vota kuboya apology Iyo tu tena vena nake. No akoro de kubo ya apology, then no kinya tungangane, ne guo igoti, de bote kuona kana ne tru, ka ne oma, ne adho kirie vipengere, kana atikos siya katibeno ya, ito ya 2010, kwa utamoka siugo siyare no rito muno, against ma visa ma NIS na ivo ya rito oso turavo ya ate motion kana impeachment motion ya etoareto bunge yambe erongamyo neguo deputy president honorable gathi gachagwa ambe abo ya apology ko ma vida na oso mwingi ni ondo wa matamshi kana maundo alia alirie matana keniando na muno muno maaffectire NIS members kana visa ma security maria metago NIS na magekoro affected ati matera vota kuruta wira wega na ati na matiana vota ku advice raisi wega nikyo twageire manda mano na movement you know iretwa gen, gen z iria itana bota iria ya, sorry iria ya sokire geuka ni ondo wa lack of proper advice kwe mundu aletwa president wito william ruto
Kazungu, you have the document. Yes? Yeah. I have, yes, yes, the file is yeah. here. Thank you.